what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA and we're back here for another rebuild and yo today we're gonna be doing a realistic one with the New York Knicks. Uh, we all know that they did make a trade during the trade deadline to pick up Emmanuel Moutier and Trey Burke as well. So yo, Chris Stops is out because, because I did do start today mode. I'm gonna leave the injuries on for the rest of this season then I'll turn them off at the beginning of next season. But anyways, if you guys want to see more rebuilds and enjoy all the content that I have been putting out because your boy has been putting out a lot of fire. So if you guys have been enjoying all the videos, please make sure to go ahead and drop a like on if you guys enjoy it. And also hit that and also hit that subscribe button to join the family. And while you're here, yo, just go ahead and share the video on Twitter. Your family just go ahead and share it. All right, it's it's gonna help the family grow and we're just gonna be balling out. But anyways, you guys, we are here for this New York Knicks rebuild. Obviously, we have Cantor, Tim Hardaway, Beasley, but honestly, this entire rebuild. We are doing it realistically, which means we can't be making wild trades. We can't be doing none of that. As far as the settings I am using, all of the trade stipulations are, are on. We're going to turn down trade frequency because, honestly, during the NBA season, not a lot of trades go down other than with Cleveland this past season, I guess. Uh, injuries, like I said, I am going to turn them on. Or actually, you know what? I think I think I'm, I'm I, I think I'm gonna leave them on for this entire video. I'm just gonna lower this to like three, even though the NBA this season has been a little bit wild. But anyways, we're just gonna make that happen. Change that up a little bit. These are the settings that we are gonna be using for this video. But anyways, you guys, like I was saying before, we're gonna send in this rebuild around Kristaps Porzingis. We're gonna make this realistic. He's untouchable. We're clearly not trading him. All right, we are clearly not trading him. And as far as our future point guard goes, it's between Emmanuel Moutier and Frank Nielakina. This is going to be a three to four year rebuild. Now, we are going to test out Frank, but if Moutier turns into a beast, that's where Frank turns into some trade bait. But anyways, you guys, enough of me talking. Let me know if you guys enjoy these types of rebuilds. As far as our lineup goes, yeah, we're not doing this. All right, Emmanuel Moutier is going to be starting a point guard for us. And then our backup is going to be Frank Neal Aquina. Obviously, like I said, it's, this is realistic. We are going to try to test out our, our, our young guys while we can. And, of course, we got to give the GOAT some minutes. Frank Neal Aquina, he can play about 20 minutes. I do want to see him in the game a little bit. Then we can just slide the rest to... Uh, this team kind of trash. All right, let's just give him five. But let's just see what this team can do. Obviously, we are rebuilding. Uh, whoa, we're selling. That's even better. We should. We do have our draft pick. I know that. We don't need any of these free agents. I'm gonna let this thing ride out, and I'm just gonna. And, and I'm just gonna see how this team does. Hopefully, Moutier and ne and Neil Aquina do start to develop. Hopefully, Chris Stops come comes back next season and just continues to dominate. But other than that, I'll see you guys at the end of season number one. And at the end of season number one, Russell Westbrook wins the MVP. That's not happening. Uh, I'm sorry. It's, it's James Harden. He's not. He's not even in the combo. But. During the season, it said that Chris Stops came back. <laughs> Yo, fam, he, he's out for the rest of the season. There's like 28 games left. So, nah, Ben Simms will give it the year. Yeah, 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 all that good stuff. We don't, we, don't, we don't care about none of it because it has nothing to do with our team. Frank Nielakina makes nothing, which is kind of depressing. But, you know, what's fine. We finished as the 13th seed, so we was trash, which is Liddy. Uh, that's, actually re that's actually really, really good for us. As far as the standings go, uh, 13th seed. I wish we would have been a little bit worse, but it's cool. Uh, as far as our stats go, Chris Stops, of course, led us in scoring. Moutier with 12 points, 5 assists. I, I want a little bit more from him and from Neil Aquino. We're going to have to work on that for like for sure. How much steals did Frank average? 0.8. I know that the beginning of the season is a little bit better. But anyways, that's fine. All-Stars should be Chris Stops. Chris Stops is an All-Star, okay? But well, whatever. All right, let's, let's let's go ahead and sim to the end of this and get straight to the offseason where we got to make realistic moves. No big name free agent is signing here. No one is. All right, <laughs> that, that, that's literally just how it is. No big name free agent is going to be signing here. And in the end, Golden State, big surprise, wins the championship. But let's get straight into the offseason and let's see if we, can make, if we can make a few moves because let's leave the NBA alone. Staff signings, we definitely are going to get a new staff and then head straight into, like, free agency. All right, David Fisdale, I, I, think that the, I think that the Knicks would love him as a, as a coach. I think that he would embody everything that the Knicks are all about, which is grit and grind. So let's go ahead. Let's, let's try to add him to, to the squad. 
And after day one, we are able to sign David Fisdale and we get Barney Rowe as well. Let's get straight to the NBA draft. We should have a top pick. Hopefully, we can get a small forward like Michael Porter with that pick. We walked away with, uh, of course, the fifth pick. Now, obviously, no one is going to be trading away for, no, no one is going to be trading for, like, Joakim Noah. But maybe we can find somebody to, like, trade for Courtney Lee. Remember, it has to be somewhat realistic. All right, who would take Courtney Lee? <laughs> uh, nah. That's the hard thing about making these things re making these things realistic. We just can't salary dump players anymore. Yeah, I don't think that we're even going to be able to find a trade. How about Lance Thomas? Frank Mason, they wouldn't even do that. Second round pick, nope. Nope. No, see, see, let's just get straight into the draft. And if something good is there, I guess we're going to go ahead and take it. So we have this offer for Al Horford in the first round pick. The Celtics would not be doing that. Um, DeAndre Aiden, he went number one overall. No, obviously, that makes no sense. Ken Kemba Walker is actually a possibility. I don't want Marvin Williams, though. But a possibility for Kemba is there. So, Michael Porter went fourth. Okay. Which prospects do we have to choose from? Jaron Jackson, don't need him. Luka Doncic, that's interesting. Colin Sexton. Do I do I want to go Colin Sexton here? I mean, we could use somebody like him, but hold on. With this one, I think we go Luka Doncic. That's who I think we go. We, we could go Mo. We could go Mo Bamba and just create a nasty front court. That's that's probably what I'm gonna do to be honest because I mean realistically if we had this pick they literally just they literally just threw an offer to like Tim Hardaway Jr. the year before I don't I think that they're trying to keep him at least for right now so even though this is a little bit questionable I think that with this one we secure up our front court and we take Mohammed Bamba. Some people call him a unicorn too, or we we go Miles Bridge, but now nah, let let's go Mobamba. Even though Luka Doncic is there, I think they I think that he's gonna be an amazing player. I don't I don't see them doing this in real life. Let, let's go Mobamba. All right, let's go Mobamba. All right, so Mohamed Bamba, seventy eight overall. Luka Doncic, he was a seventy nine, but you know what? It's fine. It's cool. It's cool. It's cool. I wish we I wish we we could got Porter there, but we walked away with Mobamba and Isaac Bonga in the second round. So. Yo, the, the Knicks under me are already winning. Cantor declined. That's honestly great for us. Uh, but Ron Baker and Quinn are back. All right, nobody wants to come to New York. I feel you on that. But don't mean that we don't mean that we won't be offering. But we we probably have no money. Yeah. All right, a player that would want to come here. All right. First of all, ah, these trades are gonna be impossible. All right, Steve Novak had they did have him at, at one point. Uh, Emeka Okafor is making his, I guess not. All right, we're, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be signing Cancer and Steve Novak. We miss out on Mike Beasley, which really really sucks for us. Uh, Avery Bradley, that's actually a possibility. Avery Bradley is actually a strong possibility. So, what if what happens if we trade Ron Baker and a second round pick? I think that this is actually a possible trade. We wouldn't be getting a first round pick for him. I don't know if they'd be offering. They are offering us 20, 2021. Maybe 2021. Like, nah, they wouldn't even be doing that. Just give us, a, a, just give us like two second round picks and it's done. All right. We are going to make a run at Avery Bradley. I think that's actually a strong possibility. Uh, I, think it's, I, I think it's fairly realistic for us to actually try and offer him. So Avery Bradley, um, which cap hole do we need to cut to make that happen? You already signed somewhere else, so. Ah, cancer. Get up out of here. Bruh. That okay, that's kind of whack, but Cancer or Bradley. We already have Quinn. Yeah, we're, we're, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna be taking Avery Bradley with this. We might regret it though. I'm, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on. I'm going to offer Bradley, but I'm going to offer him a one-year deal. Actually, a two-year deal with a team option. Yeah, let's let's do that. And we're able to sign him. All right. Well, I think that that was a fairly realistic free agency for us. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and we're going to sim straight to next season just to look at what the team is looking like. We drafted Mo Bamba. I think that that helps us long term, which means our, our front court is pretty much solidified. We have some defense with Bradley. We also have Tim Hardaway Jr. Um, we still need a small forward. I think that's the only position that we are actually screwed at. And as far as training camp goes, we're going to be sending Emmanuel Moutier there. I think he needs it the most for sure. Uh, but as far as the squad is looking, let's see what our, what our lineup is looking like. All right, what's the lineup looking like? They want to start Frank Nilakina. All right, let's look at potential. B plus. But Moody is 6'5". I, I don't know, man. All right, playmaking, A minus. Playmaking. All right, I guess we're going to rock with Frank. But this is what the lineup is looking like, you guys. Chris Opsnow, 90 over us. Frank, Tim Hardaway Jr., James Ennis. Oh, that's that's... That's, that's terrible. That's actually really, really terrible. But Avery Bradley is the force off the bench. Man, this team is not good. This team is really not good. Mm, I guess we, we we can look at some options for Tim Hardaway Jr., but none are there. Uh, all right. We just signed Bradley. We, we, we can't trade him. All right, what can we get for Tim Hardaway Jr. and, like, Emmanuel Moutier? Because if he's not a starting point guard... We ain't, mm, they're not doing that. <laughs> like, yeah, they're, 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 they're not doing that. I know what? This team is rebuilding. Hopefully, we're still bad. Just so that, uh, just so that, like, we, 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 we can get a good draft pick. But this is all on a for this season. Frank Nilakina, Tim Hardaway Jr., James Ennis, Christophs, Mohamed Bamba. Off the bench, we got Avery Bradley, Kyle Quinn, Emmanuel Moutier, Andrew Harrison, uh, Joakim Noah. Yeah. It's, it's pretty trash. Is anybody for agency? No one that's actually worth picking up. But, yeah, this team is horrible. I don't know what we're going to be able to actually do. Chris stops. We might as well sign him now because, yeah, we're making sure he's, he's not going anywhere. Manny Moutier, look, fam. I, we're going we're gonna to have to re-evaluate that at the end of the season. But, but anyways, I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. And like I, like I said with my last realistic rebuild, these are so hard. But I think it, I think that maybe in two more seasons we could actually contend for like a championship if everything goes as planned and everybody just develops correctly. And at the end of season number two, Steph Curry wins the MVP, DeAndre Aiden's Rookie of the Year, Larry Dance Jr. Six Man. Yeah, Frank Nealakina does win Most Improved. He's only averaging eight points, guys. He's only averaging eight points. This is sad. He went from five to eight and. We're getting a, a, a celebration. He's also averaging six assists and 0 0.9 steals. So that's still an L. Uh, that's still a major L. That's honestly still a major L. We get nobody on any of the all NBA teams. But Mohamed Bamba is our rookie first team, which is a W for us. Yeah, we somehow got worse. <laughs> we somehow got worse. Yo, this team is trash. Like I can't, I can't even stress it. This team is actually trash. But since it's realistic. Hey, man, I guess we got to be patient with it. All right, let's get straight into this year's offseason. Like I said, the Knicks, it's going to take time. It's going to take time. We're, we're, we're going to need a small forward badly. So, luckily for us, we was trash enough to where we should be in. We we should have a top three pick. We should have a top three pick. The Bucks won, won the championship in 2019. Uh, nah. But anyways, let's get straight into this offseason. Leave the NBA alone. Staff signings, David Fisdale. You're working out. We're, we're, we're going to leave you there. And we end up with the sixth overall pick. Great. Okay. Mock draft time. With the sixth pick, we are projected to be getting Nazir Little. Yo, fam. I want RJ Barrett. Ah, this is realistic, man. So getting that number two overall pick, we're going to be giving up some coins for it. Uh, wow. I knew, I knew that that was going to happen. All right. Prospect scouting. Who else is there? Cameron Reddish, 6'8". He could play small forward for us. I don't want Zion. Or I can just wait and get a little. Or get somebody else. Or I can just, I can slide down and get sure and get Sharif. Like, ah, okay. Let's see what this sixth pick gets us, all right? Nah. It's honestly a bunch of L's. Um, let's just skip to my draft pick and let's see what's there. But man, 
They really took him number one. All right, who's already gone? Little two, two years in, in, in a row. The player we wanted go goes right before we can actually draft him. All right, um, R- Romeo Langford is there. He's six six though. Should I trade down and try to get short and try to get Sharif back? Like, just to be honest. Give, give me that. All right. So we traded down. We probably that was probably a horrible trade. Yeah, that was actually a really, really, really bad trade. But we do end up with two first round picks in this year's draft. Who do they take with this pick? We we honestly could we honestly could have gotten more. We could have gotten more. Well, we end up with the 13th pick. And yeah, all right. We're gonna with this pick, we are gonna take Sharif though. Because there's nobody else here that I actually want. I, I, and I know that whenever we put him at small forward, his overall is going to go up. So we're going to take Sharif here. Then we're going to go to our next pick. And even if Sharif doesn't work out, he he would be a, a great backup. But I know that his overall goes up whenever he's put at small forward. All right. 24th pick. Let's see, man. All right, yeah, Sharif was a 74. Not that bad. All right, let's see, man. Who's here? Jalen Hands is here. And let's see what we're working with. All right, we're going to be signing Jalen Hands. He's a 72. It's not, not a bad draft. What the hell? Why are we signing Bonga? I don't know. 2K is so broken. All right, we're going we're gonna to accept this. Avery Bradley, what type of cap room are, are, are we looking at? That's what I need to know. 19 or 20. We are broke. He could be a trade piece. So I'm gonna I'm gonna hang on to him. Alright, but Lance Thomas can go ahead and walk because he's honestly trash. But we're but we're gonna go ahead and restrict Emmanuel Moody and Andrew Harrison. And why why not Max too? Didn't he catch a body on uh Ju- on Julius Randle? Alright, but negative eleven million. Kemba Walker would be ideal here, but I know that we I know that we can't get him. Sharif to small forward. He goes up to a 77. Let's also make his backup. Uh, his secondary power forward, but he he just jumped up four, so that's a W with us drafting him there. All right, what's his threes? His threes nice too. All right, so that's so that that's good. We have our small forward. We need to get rid of forty million. Maybe they throw us Bryce Johnson too, and we give them an extra second. There we go. So we do make that trade. Let me know if you guys think that 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 trade was actually realistic. I thought I thought it was kind of a fair trade. I think that that was relatively a fair trade. All right, so for this season, this is our lineup. Frank Neal, Akina, Avery Bradley, Sharif O'Neal, Chris Stops, and Mo Bamba. Hopefully, this team plays a lot better. Six man is Moutier. Then we got Bonga. He's he he's great. Todd Gibson, Bryce. Okay, not that bad. Uh, Jalen Hands. I want to get him in there a little bit, just to be honest. I do want to get him in there a little bit over Kylo Quinn. All right, we can just play him those little minutes right there. All right, we are still a rebuilding team. I'm going to try it once again just to see what's out there for Avery Bradley. If there's nothing, it doesn't really matter because he's a free agent. So, yeah. Let's just get straight to the end of this season because since it's realistic, no one is going to be going out and just unloading the bag for Avery Bradley. And at the end of this season, Giannis wins the MVP. Zion rookie of the year, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it doesn't matter. This team is just bad. Like, I don't I, I don't know what to even say. Sharif is all rookie second team. He's the 80 overall now, but this team is trash, man. I don't know what to say. 13th seed, we, 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 we were low-key the 15th seed this entire season. And then out of nowhere, we started winning games. These are the numbers. Chris Thompson with 21 and 7. Moamba with 13 and 11. Sharif with 13. Moutier, 12, 5. Whatever Frank is doing, he's doing. <laughs> Let's just get straight into it, man. All right. Any All-Stars? Wow. Chris Stops, he was an All-Star. But other than that, let's get straight into this final season because now we actually have cap room to make moves during free agency, which should be a W for us if there's any good free agents, which I hope there is because we can throw them a very, very large back. We need a, we need a backcourt. Our backcourt is atrocious. Frank can't score. And we just do not want Avery Bradley. But let's leave the NBA alone. Uh, staff signings. Um, let's see who's there. Pop is there. Sorry, Fizdale. We're going after Pop. All right, man. It's just not working out. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to go for D'Angelo Russell. All right. 
this isn't the most real. This isn't the most realistic. But I am gonna, I am gonna give them Frank Nealik. Oh, come on, man. All right, Patty Mills, the seventh pick. That I'm also gonna be throwing in Green. Jalen Hands. There we go. So that we are to give up a lot for D'Angelo Russell. Definitely worth it. Now all we need is a shooting guard because we literally just gave up our rights on Avery Bradley. Good idea, bad idea. I guess we're gonna figure it out. But I guess we're gonna be bring back Frank Bonga and Bomb and Bomba. Yo, Frank probably is on the trade block. He is actually he's on he is on the trade block depending on who's in free agency. Yeah, free agency is trash. But Al Horford, I'd be willing to actually sign him because we have like we have like no other options. But we're not gonna be getting him, so that's tough. I don't want every Bradley back, but if I did get him back, I would just trade him. Just to be completely honest. All right, Bird Rice on, on anybody. Moutier, we're gonna offer him a deal. Tyson Chandler, we can't offer you crap. All right, after day one, Moutier and Bradley. I guess we're bringing you guys back. Now, this trade right here is really, really interesting. Donovan Mitchell. Anthony, Anthony Simmons makes a little bit more sense. His rookie year, well, his he averaged, like, no assists. Damn. Are, are, are they trading Donovan Mitchell here? They have LaMelo Ball. Then why? Yeah, they're, they're, they're not doing that trade. I, I wish they would be. But we need something, man. And they, they, they get a point guard right back who's the same age. So I, I get why they do it. Let's just change it up. We need some more offense, all right? We're done making trades. Let's see what this team is looking like for this next season. D'Angelo isn't he playing the one or the two. We're going to have to figure it out, y'all. Matter of fact, let me go into free agency. And let's just see if there's any old people who want to sign here for the, for the low. Ty, Ty, Tyson Chandler, we can use you. We can use a lot of players, all right? That's all that I'm going to say. We can use almost anybody who wants to come here. And for this season, I'm looking for us to actually make a jump. It still says that we're rebuilding, man. Nah, this is what we're going to do. Um, all right, we're going we're gonna to look at something. All right, Anthony Simmons, his playmaking is bad. I'm making him the shooting guard instead of D'Angelo. Or, eh. You know what? Yeah, let's just let's let's do that instead. All right. So this is our lineup for this season. It's D'Angelo Russell and Fernie Simmons. Then we got Sharif, Chris Stops, Mo Bamba. All right. And then off the bench we got Bradley, Mo Moutier, Bonga, Rashad. All right, we have a decent like all around team if you want to be honest. As far as preferences goes, we're not doing that. Uh, neutral offensive preference, shoot at will. Let's try and do something, man. I think that I think that this team is capable of actually being in the playoffs. We have made the playoffs once this, this entire video, but then again, it is the New York Knicks. I don't know, man, but let's just see where this team is at the end of season number four because this is the final season. And at the end of this season, James Harden wins the MVP, and we care about none of this. But I is sixth man of the year. Mohamed Bamba, our boy, wins defensive player of the year, averaging 15 points, 13 rebounds, and, yo, almost three blocks a game while shooting 57% from the field. So he was huge for us. Most of his bowl bowl. Coach here goes to Mike Dansoni. All right, man, any any Knicks? We, we ain't get no Knicks? Damn, we, we didn't get any Knicks here. But, of course, we had Mobamba right there. All right, so not bad. We actually finished as the first seed. So getting D'Angelo Russell and changing up that backcourt was a must. Definitely unnecessary. It says that we are contending. Standings-wise, five games ahead of the Cavs, six in front of the Bucks. The Cavs came out of nowhere. They, they were like the ninth seed. Uh, as far as stats go, Chris Dobbs with 20 points a game, eight rebounds. You guys can pause if you guys want to see D'Lo. You already know, eight assists, 14 points, 1.1 steals. That's all that your boy really, really asked for. Uh, and, he, and he was putting that out there. I really do appreciate that. All-stars, Chris Ops, he was an all-star. So was Mohamed Bamba. Uh, that's all that really matters, I guess. Bro, round one, we're taking on the Charlotte Hornets. If we if we can win a championship to finish this thing off, that would be just great. Unfortunately, we are down 3-0 to the freaking Hornets. So, probably not happening unless they choke this thing away. I don't even get how. Like, to be honest, I really don't get how. Like, our front court should just be destroying them. 
Chris Stops is getting 10. He's only taking three shots. Bradley's taking, okay. That's actually crazy. Let's hop into SimCast. Let's hop straight into SimCast. Let's see if we can put together a comeback or something. We All right, man. Why, why can't we do this on a regular basis? All right? Why can't we just do this on a regular basis? Please, guys. We're getting them. Why, why can't we do this on a regular basis? All we need to do is just keep this thing going. Why can't we do this on a regular? Okay, this is getting. Come on, y'all. Come on, just keep this thing going. Bro, I need you guys to win this game. We are, we are down by a lot. What are you guys doing? Come on. Don't choke. I, I have jumped in this game. There's 26 seconds left. This team cannot blow it. We, like, this is kind of this is ridiculous. We're playing the eighth seed and, and we're struggling against the freaking eighth seed and we were the number one seed. Come on now, dude. 2K is so inconsistent with all of this stuff. All right, at least it's our. Why are the starters not in the game? That's what I'm not getting about it. Come send me a screen. Yo, it's what the what's yo. This game is like in slow motion. Give me that. Let's go. Let's go. Now all we need is defense. Now all we need is defense. Now all we need is some freaking defense. All right. What's our defensive team looking like? It's Moody A and Bradley. I don't know how I feel about that, but we need some defense. I'm not going to lie to you. All right. Chris stops. 17-10. All right. That's what's up. Come on, man. Come on. Come on. Come on. We, we don't have time. We need a, we we need some, we need we need defense. Come on, man. Come on, clamp up. Oh hell no! Wow, seriously? All right, we have we have a timeout. Let's go ahead and use it. Right, there's four point eight seconds left. We need we need a big shot. We we need a big shot right now, which means starters got to be on the court because I trust them more offensively, obviously. That up. Go up. How the f how did bro? You gotta be freaking kidding me. You got no. Let's just hop back in the simcast. That's ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is re that is ridiculous. I am I'm done. I'm done. That is actually ridiculous. Two K literally made us lose that freaking game. I, I I gave him a wide open layup and he okay. Whatever, guys. We weren't able to win a championship. Somehow, we lose to the freaking Hornets with the best team. But, hey, man. It's it's only logical, right? Bro, this is why 2K is a dying game. But, anyways, this was our final roster. It was Chris Stiles Porzingis, D'Angelo Russell, Mo Bamba, Anthony Simmons, A.B. Bradley, Sharif O'Neal, Manny Moutier, Isaac Bonga, R Rashawn Holmes, Justin Holliday, Bryce Johnson, Todd Gibson, Tyson Chandler, Al Jefferson, and Kyle O'Quinn. So we, so we completed our, our realistic rebuild. We were not able to win a championship. Somehow this team couldn't beat the freaking Hornets. I don't even know how. Nah, like. That makes no sense at all, but you know what? It's really whatever. Hope you guys enjoy. Let me know who we should do this with next. Make sure you go ahead and drop a like on this video. Subscribe and share it. Let me know which what other type of content you guys want to see on this channel. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all. Cause niggas started talking to me like I'm slowing down. Opinions over statistics, of course. Come at me and all you'll get is the ballistic report.